Hi, so this is going to be a, a quick video on uh, inflammation testing. Just to remind you, I've got a whole course on inflammation testing, how to get your own, um, what to look at, what to uh, understand. Now, <clears throat> why is inflammation important? Well, we used to think that cholesterol caused heart attacks and strokes, and now we know better. We know that it's inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation. What is cardiovascular inflammation? It's where um, your immune system attacks uh, plaque that's in your artery wall. And how does plaque get in your artery wall? Again, from inflammation. It, um, <clears throat> plaque is, yes, it is mostly uh, made up of LDL, the quote, bad cholesterol. But it isn't LDL levels that uh, get plaque into the artery wall. It's damage to the intima or the endothelium, the lining of the artery wall. Now, what causes that kind of damage? Uh, usually, um, most of the time, insulin resistance. So when you get damage to that uh, lining, here's what happens. The LDL seeps through the holes, the holes in the cracks in the uh, intima. So, Again, we've got a course on it. Uh, this is going to be a quick video where we just go over it. Here are the major components of it. This is from uh, like uh, a few of the, the personal prevention series. This is um, from uh, Brad and Amy's uh, uh, series. It, here's the four tests plus one other. The four tests that I recommend in, in an inflammation panel is the HSCRP. C-reactive protein, and here's the, the goal numbers. Below one, uh, ideal is below 0.3. Microalbumin creatinine ratio, the goal is below 4.5 for men and below seven for women. Plaque two, the goal is below 180. MPO or myeloperoxidase, the goal is below 400. And F2 isoprostane, this is one that uh, you can get in a full workup. I'd be happy to order it if you, if you want to get involved uh, with a, a more uh, complete evaluation uh, with me. F2 isoprostine is known as the uh, lifestyle lie detector test. It basically shows us how much oxidation you have going on in your body. Now, <clears throat> uh, what you're looking to see is, is the fire out right now. And that's a right, right now is an active point. Um, if you got an inflammation panel today, uh, it could change. Uh, if you gain weight uh, and crank up your insulin resistance, that can cause inflammation to crank up. Um, if you go, get under a lot of stress, that can increase your cortisol levels, which can cause, in turn, increase, increased insulin resistance and therefore um, increased uh, cardiovascular inflammation. We recommend it again every quarter. Um, and here's another thing to think about. You, we see people all the time that have plaque, yet they have uh, normal or no uh, cardiovascular inflammation on the inflammation panel. Why is that? Again, at one time, you're not going to have plaque if you haven't at one time had cardiovascular inflammation. So uh, they're in one of those stages. This ebbs and flows, and if somebody has normal uh, inflammation panel, inflammation tests, but they still have plaque, again, their inflammation's not kicked up right now. And that's actually one of our key goals when we see you as a patient. So <clears throat> uh, it's uh, a comment about discovering root cause. There are a lot of root causes. Um, we'll talk about those in a minute. This is, a, uh, this is again, one of Brad and Amy's points. I, I, I shared with you Brad's uh, analogy of a cat in the gutter where hot plaque in the artery wall is like the cats that hide in the gutters in the large plazas in Italy waiting for a, a pigeon to walk by. And... Um, jump out and have a snack, a pigeon snack. The calcium there in his, um, in Brad's uh, image is basically showing that you can calm that cat down. You can calm that um, hot plaque down. And uh, as a reminder, 
That gets into this whole issue of vitamin K2 and calcification. Many people mistakenly think, I want to get all that calcium out of there. Um, that's a little bit too much of a stretch, and we've talked about it uh, several times in several other videos. I don't think the, uh, the evidence is entirely clear, number one, whether K2 removes calcium, and number two, from arteries, and number two, uh, whether that actually uh, destabilizes plaque or stabilizes it. Now, <clears throat> we mentioned root cause, and root cause is a big, big deal. This is, uh, however, a little bit too complicated for most folks. And if you look here, you see things like uh, myeloperoxidase, uh, genetics m mentioned a couple of times, lifestyle mentioned a couple of times, periodontal disease, hyperlipidemia with, with something like familial hypercholesterolemia, hypertension, psychosocial issues, LP little a. Now, I've got videos on, unless I'm mistaken, all of these gut dysbiosis, a low vitamin D, obstructive sleep apnea. But the implication of this is that all of these things are, um, are driving this and are of equal, um, equal importance. As far as the rest of the image is concerned, basically you're talking about inflammation and then uh, drawing some inflamed arteries as the, the fruit in the tree. But let's get back to this root cause issue. Again, these are not all of the same level of importance. Even Brad and Amy have, will say multiple times in their book, uh, Beat the Heart Attack Gene, that in their estimate, uh, about 70% of cardiovascular inflammation is caused by um, insulin resistance. I think that's a little bit low. I think it's more like 90%. Now, again, you will see patients that have uh, FH, familial hypercholesterolemia. You'll see patients that have smoking. You'll see, well, I will say this. For the patients that do smoke, almost everything else is hands down. Smoking is nuclear. But most of my patients these days don't have a smoking issue, at least at this point. Um, they do have other issues, like LP little a. Uh, I've seen several patients from the... Uh, from the French Canadian uh, um, gene pool that have really high numbers, not 80 to 120 like you tend to see in the US, but like three to 500. Still, even then, and even with hypercholesterolemia uh, patients, you'll see them do fine until uh, the coup de gras comes in, insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a major root cause on this issue, and it's, um, something to be focused on, something to dig deep for. Again, I said it was going to be a short uh, video. If you'd like to learn more about uh, uh, testing and assessment for um, cardiovascular inflammation, I've got a free digital course. Go take a look at it. Take the test. Thank you for your interest. Not a big YouTuber and tired of spending a lot of time on videos. We've got other options. Uh, we've got a Facebook page and as you can see here what we do is we provide a summary of the information in the thumbnail and we're getting more and more information out there if you're a LinkedIn person go take a look at LinkedIn same thing we start we post the videos but we also provide a little bit of basic information regarding the uh, the video itself how about Instagram again same thing We've got the thumbnails, but we also have summary information. Quick and easy way to, uh, to catch up with what's going on with your health. Thank you.